Hey guys, John Olson here from Plus One Daily, and thank you guys for checking out the YouTube's video. Uh, appreciate each and every one of you guys liking this, subscribing to it, commenting on it, sharing it. Uh, it's it's an honor and privilege to be able to do these videos for you guys and these blog posts. Been doing them now two years. Pretty cool, man, and I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, so as you guys know, it, it's funny. I'm doing this. Um, I'm doing this video on Read a Book Day. Uh, I did not know that that day existed, but uh, thanks to Twitter and hashtags, I discovered that today was Read a Book Day. I guess. Just day, there's, there's a celebration every day, it seems. Anyways, funny that this is Read a Book Day, because I'm actually reading a really cool book. I'm reading this book, uh, The Only Sales Guide You'll Ever Need, uh, by uh, Anthony Ian Arino. I think that's his last name. Again, I butcher last names. I apologize. The guy from the sales blog. Great dude. Uh, really knowledgeable. So he wrote this book a couple years ago. And in it, he talks about these different character traits that you need to succeed in sales. One of them, one of the chapters was how to, you know, basically be effective. Compete effectively. And and he wrote and he gave us three tips on how to do this. And I thought I'd share them with you guys today because it really hit me. It really, it really hit me like a ton of bricks, really. Because I was like, man, this is stuff that no one can really teach you. But if you start making these changes and you start looking at sales this way, you'll be able to compete with basically anybody in your in your field or in your niche. So uh, the first point that he said was to how to compete effectively was desire. Uh, I just finished a live stream on Facebook and I was telling the people that were in attendance there that the desire, again, is nothing that I can teach you. It's nothing that Anthony can teach you. It's nothing that anybody can teach you. Desire has to come from within. It's the reason why. Uh, you guys, maybe you're not familiar with my story, but my story was, you know, almost 20 years ago now, my son was born, and of course the bird is going to squawk while I'm doing the video. Um, <laughs> uh, my son is born, and I was the world's worst employee. So I said, listen, first of all, two things. I suck working for other people, and the second thing is that I had a desire to be around my son. I wanted to be with him when he grew up. I didn't want to be the 9 to 5 dad and, you know, the weekend dad uh, that, that, you know, he wouldn't see me. He'd only see me a couple of hours a week. I didn't want that. So the desire for me was twofold. One, I hated working for other people. I was an entrepreneur. And the second thing was that I had a desire to be around my son. So the desire is, is it's self-inflicted. It's, it's ingrained in you. It's nothing you can be taught, but desire is key. The second point that he talked about is heart. And I called this on my live stream, stay the coarseness, the stick to um, heart is kind of like, it's not the fuel to the fire, it's the actual fuel. It's the actual keep going, the engine, the, the little engine that could. I think I can, I think it can. Because listen, I, I, as entrepreneurs, we're wired a little differently, let's be honest. We'll work 80 hours, sometimes more a week, for the hope and the prayer that this stuff actually becomes a success. I mean, that's, that's pretty crazy, right? I mean, we, we exchange our hard, work, our hard time and effort into the potential. It's not, the, it's not to punch a clock in and get paid 40 hours a week and then that's it. It's the potential that you're going to be creating a, a much better business and life for you and your family and your customers down the road. So the heart is the, 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 the stuff you're doing in a year from now as passionate as you're doing it today because there's going to be ups and downs. There's, it's a roller coaster, man. The entrepreneurial roller coaster, as Darren Hardy says. There's going to be good times. There's going to be bad times. God knows there's been good times and bad times in my career. But the fact that you keep showing up, the fact that you're as passionate about what you're doing a year from now as you are today, that's where the heart comes in. That's what separates you from the the competition because you're passionate. You're fired up. There's something inside you that you're you're just so in love with what you do it, it it spreads man it spreads and people start paying attention to that they want to be around stuff like that so desire is what fires you up heart and the passion the stick to the stay the coarseness i'm gonna go to oxford for that the stay the coarseness i like that word that little phrase uh i'm gonna get them to add that to their dictionary but that stuff pays dividends down the road because Anybody can get fired up to try to build a business online, or anybody can get fired up about affiliate marketing for a week or two. Are you going to be as fired up in a year from now? That's the key. And then finally, the last point, to bring it all home, is action. Uh, I mean, it, it, thanks a lot, John. Thanks, Captain Obvious. I mean, wow, tell us something you didn't already know. 
easy to say, hard to do. Action is kind of the separator, right? It's the real from the fake. It's the it's the it's the success to the failure. It's the it's the the the, the, the people that build these lifetime incomes online compared to the people that slot machine market their way through opportunity, 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 opportunity. Action is the separator. Anybody can say, hey, yeah, I'm really fired up and I'm going to do this. Very few do. Fun story. I shared this again with my live stream on, on Facebook. And um, I, I like to talk to a lot of people on Skype. I like, to, I like to network with people. And what I do, part of the sales tactics I have is that my warm market, I like to touch base with them on Skype every now and again. Just to let them know, hey, I'm here if you need anything or you, you're interested in getting something else. You know, I'm here, et cetera, et cetera. Trying to make sure that I'm giving value to them and reminding them that I value them and that I'm there for them if they need me. A lot of times they'll say things like, well, you know what, I'm going to try something next week or I'm going to build on this idea tomorrow or I'm going to do more about like there's there's the majority of people that I'm talking to on Skype, not the majority, I'm not going to say the majority, but a big chunk of people I talk to on Skype, they're always into some day or one day. It's that extra day of the week, apparently. Apparently there's an extra day of the week I didn't know about the someday or the one day. And they're focused on the someday or the one day they forget about today. And nothing will kill your success faster than putting something off. Procrastination will kill you. Action is the separator. So if you have the desire, the ingrained desire to change or want to build a business, and you have the heart, the passion, the stay the courseness, the stick to itiveness to see it through, and then finally you're doing action each and every day. Something, small things, little things, but you're moving forward. You're taking action on your dreams. You're taking action on your business. You're taking action on growing more, building more, creating more. Oh, that's the DNA of plus one. That is really the DNA of plus one. And that's why I love this point so much. Because the action is the separator. Plus one each and every day. Be better at sunset than you were at sunrise. I guarantee you, not only will you compete effectively, you'll be winning a lot of those competitions.